Well, I was just out, uh, set a few rabbit snares, and uh, I come back now and cook up a moose stir fry for uh, me and the wife. Here's the moose meat. Uh, you know, it's quite a bit here for a stir fry. But see what we got here. Yeah. This piece do have like a little bit of sinew in that throat, but it'll be alright, I guess. Cutting this across the grain. And you know, like some people uh, soak their meat a little while before they make their stir fry. And you know, I never actually done that before, but why not? Let's try it. Right here, I got some minced up garlic. And right here I got four small onions and even though I make a you know my stir fry a little different probably every time there's two or three things that I do the same in the mouth because because that's the way I like it and one thing I like to use a nice lot of onion and so I normally use two or three big ones or four small ones like that Here's the vegetables uh, for the stir fry, and for me, I love broccoli in a stir fry. Also with green and red pepper. Gotta have mushrooms, and I really, really gotta have bean sprouts. Uh, the only time I don't have bean sprouts in a stir fry is when I can't get them. That's my favorite ingredient in any stir fry. Uh, I also like to add like a little tiny bit of yellow and orange pepper if I got it. Uh, adds a little bit of color, and I put like a little tiny bit of a cucumber and also we had a little bit of bok choy and half the reason I make the stir fry today is just use up some of the vegetables that we had in the refrigerator and right here I got some carrot and the stock of the broccoli and for the carrot I usually just inch or so inch inch and a quarter inch and a half and this carrot is a bit smaller so I'll just uh, split this one in half if it was a bigger carrot I'd split it in thirds like but this is not that big and so I just Thinly slice it in. Just like that. And uh, like any stir fry, the right, way I go is just, just put in the ingredients that you like. If there's something else that you really like, add it. <laughs> is your stir fry? You make it the way you like it. So, the carrot over there. So that, there's the carrot. And uh, I also use the stock uh, broccoli. And this is where the, the broccoli flowers on this end. So sometimes I'll just cut this kind of thin. And so far, really thin. Like, like that, and they'll go right into the stir fry. I'll just, you know, this broccoli is almost like a different vegetable, you know, a little different texture and everything else to it. But for the rest of the stock, I usually cut the end off. And I find the, the skin is a bit thick, so I just, just trims it around. I do get rid of. So I'll go right into the, the compost bucket. And there's different ways you can just slice it like that or cut it on an angle or last time I'll just split it in half. And 
And it's almost like a different little vegetable, like I said, right? So. Well, just look at that, I must say. That looks good already. I just soaked the, the moose meat for a while there just to get some of the blood out and uh, kind of like tenderize the meat a little bit, but uh, I normally don't do that. <laughs> but but it's a good thing to do, especially if you're like a strong flavored moose. Now I'm going to marinate the moose meat a little bit with just a little bit of sesame seed oil. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Just going to mix it all the way around, mix all that through. All right, I think we're about ready to rock and roll here now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on the burner, and I'm gonna add some uh, a corn oil to the wok. I'm using corn oil because uh, that's all I got here right now. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, four or five tablespoons maybe. First, I'm gonna add the garlic and onion. Next, I'm going to add the meat. There's more meat than I'm normally used to using. And now I'm going to add some uh, crushed uh, red chili pepper flakes. And I'm not going to add a whole lot, just a little bit. And just a little tiny bit of oyster sauce, not very much. Like that, just a bit. Stir that around there a little bit. There's the carrots, the mushrooms, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, cucumber, orange pepper. The broccoli and all that's going to reach down there, and bok choy and like that. Right in all the bean sprouts. Just gonna, just gonna stir it around a bit. Get all that goodness all around the vegetables. And this one's gonna just stir it around again. Now, I'm just gonna stir this around one more time. Pushing in from the sides there a little bit. And today I'm going to use uh, General Tao sauce. Uh, teriyaki is one of my favorite stir fries, but this one's a little more uh, spicy and, su and sweet. So I'm just going to pour this one right over the top like that. And then I'm just going to put the lid down under. General Tao, sweet and spicy sauce with garlic, sesame, and ginger. Yeah, I'm just take the lid off a little bit and just. Oh, smells good. Just rotate it around here a little bit. And then put the lid back on.
Now, sometimes, and sometimes, you know, I'll uh, heat the sauce in a little dipper, and uh, when the stir fry is done, I'll just pour the sauce over the stir fry. But, you know, this is home cooking. Do as you please. Can you hear that? I tell you, sounds good and smells really good. Uh, seven minutes after 12. The wife be here any minute now. The timing is perfect. Well guys, here it is. Moose stir fry with general tail sauce on a bit of rice. Well, you know, uh, some people have been asking to see this video, and uh, since I was making uh, moose stir fry today, I said it's just as well to film it. <laughs> yeah, so I really hope you enjoy it. But I gotta do a little taste test before you go. That's for sure. And uh, I expect the wife, you know, to walk through the door any minute. Now, I'm just gonna do a little taste test and then wait for the wife door just open. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my, that is good. You can moose me. Oh wow. And you know, you can get like a lot of different types of stir fry sauce at the store, so uh, you know, buy what you like. Uh, but I guess that's it for this one though, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care, all the best from the big land.